hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so in today's video i'm doing another spring poly gel nail design so right here i'm just cutting the nail tips down a bit because i didn't want them too long this is my ballerina shaped nail tips from aliexpress and they are xxl nail tips but i didn't want them that long so i am just cutting them down right here and I did prep my nails and applied my peel off base coat off camera if you'd like to check out a video that I did a few weeks ago where I show how I prep my nails I would have that video linked in the cards so I'm just filing the free edge of the nails just to get that straight line once again Now I'm going to be using my sanding band to buff the surface of all of the nails just to remove the shine. Now I'm going to be using my gel base coat so I applied a layer of gel base coat to all of the nails and then I cured for 30 seconds. So after curing my nails for 30 seconds, I am going to be placing some of my sip solution in my dampen dish. I'm using rubbing alcohol as my sip solution today and I'm just getting all of my poly gel brushes ready. So the poly gel I'm using today is from a company called Just Love. I did a video using their products a while ago and today I'm using the pink poly gel from Just Love and it's a really pretty pink poly gel. So I just applied a bead of that poly gel to the pinky nail and I evenly distributed at the tip area mainly and then I turned my finger over and made sure to get a nice shape so that there's less filing to do so when there so whenever i see poly gel on the outside of the nail i would make sure and brush the poly gel brush along the sides of the nails just so that it becomes compact and then i would turn my finger over and make sure that the surface was smooth so that's what i do and make sure that the nail looks decent and i would fade the poly gel towards the cuticle area as well so that there isn't this harsh line of poly gel so that's what i did and when i'm satisfied with how it looks i would cure for 30 seconds next i would be doing the same thing on the index nail so this poly gel is really pretty i love the shade of pink it is so pretty i was really excited to use this poly gel however on the pink nails i did ombre nails so when i added the nude poly gel 
and I faded the nude polygel into the pink polygel. The pink polygel had this weird reaction to it where the top of the pink area was becoming very white and I didn't understand that. Maybe it's because I used two different brands of polygels on one nail. I don't know if that is the reason for that. Maybe if I had used a Just Love nude polygel this would not have happened but that made the nail not look as good as it could have it had the potential to look really good but after that you could you could see it when i was finished with the nail so that was a bummer i didn't like that about this polygel because i think all polygels needs to be able to work together regardless of which brand it is but i guess this just love polygel just didn't work with the nude polygel that i used which was okay i tried my best to camouflage the whiteness you may see it on camera i'm not sure but i tried my best to camouflage it when i was finished with the nails but i like to scrutinize everything so i definitely saw it and was very annoyed with it the nail design looks really good but that's the only thing that kind of messed up the design so anyway moving on to the thumbnail i am doing the same thing so i just applied a very large bead of the pink poly gel and evenly distributed that on the thumbnail making sure that it fits nicely on the thumbnail so that there is little to no filing to do i really don't like filing nails so i'm trying my best to be more patient when i apply my poly gel so that i can apply it really nicely so that it reduces the amount of time i spend filing and i'm still working on it because i really don't have that amount of patience when it comes to applying poly gel very neatly and nicely sometimes i have it and then sometimes i don't but yes i'm just going to be doing that on the thumbnail and i'll be back shortly Now I cured that for 30 seconds and I'm going to be using my Aciester poly gel from Macard. So I just took a small bead of the Aciester poly gel and placed it on the index nail and I'm just going to be distributing that on the nail bed only so making sure that it fits nicely around the cuticle area we are doing ombre nails as i said before so when it fits nicely around the cuticle area i make sure that the poly gel goes from sidewall to sidewall if that makes sense so i want the poly gel to be straight from side to side as you all see here i'm trying to make sure that it's straight from one side to the other of the index nail so that i can get ready to do my ombre nail and make the fade so when i see how it looks there oh right so i did apply a little too much of the poly gel hence the reason i removed that little bit of poly gel i didn't want too much especially when you're doing ombre nails you don't need too much poly gel to do the ombre because when you start fading it sometimes it can go too much on the nail tip it can go too far on the nail tip and you really don't want that so yes i removed that bit of poly gel then i'm making sure that the poly gel is straight on the nail and when i'm ready i would fade the nude poly gel into the pink poly gel and yes that's basically how it's done and even here it did not have any white marks on the pink nail it's only when i was finished curing this index nail when i did the ombre then i saw the white marks on the pink poly gel so 
So after curing for 30 seconds, here is where I noticed the white marks on the nail. So after curing the index nail for 30 seconds, I'm going in with another bead of poly gel of nude poly gel on the pinky nail so i just apply the bead and distribute it around the cuticle area and then i faded the nude poly gel into the pink and cured that as well for 30 seconds So again, I did apply a little too much of poly gel to the pinky nails. So I just removed that and I'm just going to be feeding the poly gel when I'm ready. Then I cured that for 30 seconds. So moving on to the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing the same thing. So I'm just going to let this part play out. I did speed up this process because it is a bit repetitive, but I still wanted you all to see it. So I'll be back shortly when I have something else to say. So I cured that for 30 seconds and as you can see on the right side of my thumbnail um, there wasn't any poly gel there. There was but it wasn't enough to really make the shape that I would really want the thumbnail to be when I'm finished. Although I could have left it like that and then when I encapsulate the nail fill up that spot but I really wanted to do it with the nude poly gel so I'm just placing some of the poly gel right there. I did see it before I cured my thumbnail but I would have had to move some of the poly gel from a certain area on the thumbnail in order to get some of the poly gel to that area and I had already did the ombre to the thumbnail so i didn't want to mess up the ombre so i decided to cure it and then go back in with a small bead of poly gel just to rectify that problem you know sometimes these things happen and i cured that for 30 seconds so on the index nail i'm just showing you guys the white marks that i'm seeing on the index nail and i'm not sure if you all can see it but i decided to use my sanding band to try to remove the white marks although it did make it white here i just had to use some rubbing alcohol and just wipe it over the nail and then it would go away however i thought when i did all of that it would not come back but the whiteness still came back after a while after the nail dried i could still see it and i did see it on the pinky nail as well and i don't know why that happened so if anyone does know why it happened let me know in the comments below because i didn't understand it's two different brands of poly gels yes but poly gel is poly gel why is it that it had a reaction when i applied the nude poly gel to the pink poly gel it's so weird so anyway moving on i'm using these mini flowers today so i'm just going to pick out what i want and just cut them into smaller flowers so i'm using the pink and the blue flowers so i'm just making sure to separate them into smaller flowers And I'm going to be using some of my glitter butterflies, the silver one. 
So I just applied a layer of my gel base coat to the middle nail and then I'm using my dotting tool to pick up the flowers and place it on the nail. Then I'm also picking up some of the silver butterfly glitters and placing it on the nail as well. So I didn't want my hand in a lamp too often else I would have applied the flowers first and cure that and then go in with the butterfly glitters and make sure that they were flattened well enough because these butterfly glitters right here are not flat. The wings of the butterflies are still sticking out. If I wanted them to lay flat, I would have had to use my silicone stamper along with my mini LED light in order for them to lay flat. But I didn't want to go through all of that. So I decided to just place them on the nail just like they are and hope for the best because I was thinking I would encapsulate the nails and I don't think I would file true to the glitters so i cured the middle nail for 30 seconds and i'm going to be doing the same thing on the ring nail So I have this glitter that I'm going to be using on the nails as well. It's a mixture of chunky as well as very fine glitters. So I'm going to apply a layer of gel base coat to the nails and then place some of the small glitters on the nail. I didn't want the chunky glitters because the butterfly is already big enough. So I just needed the smaller glitters. So I'm just picking up the smaller glitters and placing it on the nails and curing it for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be encapsulating the nails and I like to remove any of the slip solution that was in the dampen dish and refill it with some new slip solution because I don't want anything to go wrong when I'm encapsulating the nails. So I make sure to clean the dampen dish and apply some more slip solution and just clean everything that needs to be cleaned even the poly gel brush. And I'm using my McCart clear poly gel to encapsulate the nails. So on the index nail, I was still seeing that whiteness on the pink poly gel at the tip area. So I decided to apply some gel base coat just to saturate that area so the whiteness wouldn't be present. And I thought it worked, but when I was finished, it really didn't work that well. So yes, so I cured the gel base coat for 30 seconds and now I'm going in with my layer of clear poly gel to encapsulate the index nail. So I just applied a bead of the poly gel and evenly distributed that and just encapsulated the index nail. So I'm just going to let this part play out and I'll be back shortly.
now on the beginning i did notice that there were white streaks on the tip area where the pink poly gel is so i decided to do the same thing that i did on the index nail i used my sanding band to try to remove that white whatever it was on the nail and then i'm using my rubbing alcohol just to clean it to see if it worked and it didn't really work that well but i'm going to be using my gel base coat now and curing that for 30 seconds Then I cured the pinky nail and encapsulated the pinky nail off camera. Moving on, I'm going to be encapsulating one of my glitter nails right now. So I'm just placing some of the clear poly gel on the ring nail and evenly distributing the poly gel on that nail, making sure that everything is covered so that when I file, I don't file into the glitters. And when I'm satisfied with my application, I'm going to be curing that nail for 30 seconds. So while encapsulating the ring nail, I noticed there was a gold glitter on the nail. So I accidentally applied a gold glitter on the nail. It's supposed to be all silver glitters, but I guess there was a gold glitter in my silver glitters. So yes, I just pushed back the poly gel and then I'm using one of my drill bits to remove that glitter because it was very prominent on the nail. You could see it and I didn't want that to be seen because both nails have silver glitters and then there's just one gold glitter right there. I didn't want that at all so I had to remove it. So I did end up removing it and continuing to encapsulate the nail and then i would cure the nail for 30 seconds next i'm going in with my second bead to build up the apex so i'm just evenly distributing this making sure that my apex is really nice and the nail has a nice structure and then i would cure this for 30 seconds as well when i'm satisfied with my application So I did encapsulate the rest of the nails off camera and this is how the nails are looking so far. Now I'm going to be using rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer from all of the nails and then I filed the nails off camera. So this is after filing of the nails let me know what you guys think about my shaping and if there's anything I need to improve on. So I'm going to be using these mini rhinestones on the 
ombre nails because i could still see the whiteness um when i apply my top coat you would still see some of the whiteness on the tip of the nail and i didn't like how that was looking at all so i'm going to try to camouflage that i'm not sure if you all can see it on camera but it's there so i'm going to camouflage that by applying some rhinestones all on the nail so let me know what you guys think about my rhinestone placement i think it looks really good i was wondering if i should have done it matte but i think it still looks really good so you would let me know what you guys think about it So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is how the nail is looking and I think it looks really good. Now moving on to the pinky nail, I'm doing the same thing. I think you can kind of see it on the pinky nail right here because the pink area looks a bit whitish to me so I hope you all can see it. So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is how the nails are looking. I did the thumbnail off camera and I did not get that issue on the thumbnail. I don't think I did. So moving on, I am going to be top coating the rest of the nails and curing that for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to be top coating the underside of the clear nails and curing for 30 seconds. Now I'm just going to be using my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails. So guys, this is the finished look. This is my spring inspired poly gel nail design. I think my ombre nails look really good. The only issue, as I said before, is the whiteness that I received on the pink area. I'm not seeing it on the screen right now, but it is there. And I didn't like how that was looking. But I think it's only because I was using two different brands of poly gel. Maybe if I had used one brand, it would not have had the same issues. But I don't know for sure i think everything turned out really good i love my glitter nails let me know what you guys think thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys